It was a complete one-sided affair when Overwatch World Cup Thailand Open Trial victors DAF Esports defeated rival Thai team Angelica Esports in a four-game whitewash, leading the way in the country's Overwatch Contenders Summer Series. Laying waste to their opponents on the maps of Ilios, Kings Row, Shambhali Monastery and Coliseo, the team rightfully claimed the lion's share of a near 12,000 US dollar prize pool, as well as the Thai contender's mantle. Damage position player Yoshinori 2K often brought Echo into battle, posing as a threat from above while maintaining a safe distance. Echo is able to temporarily fly in any direction. This grants her access to high vantage points, dodge incoming range attacks, or to quickly reposition herself through tight corridors to create line of sight issues for the enemy team. When an opposing player was low on health, Yoshinori channeled Echo's focusing beam to quickly dispose of their remaining health at a rapid pace. Sticky bombs were a primary source of Yoshinori's damage when they attached themselves to enemy players or surfaces. After a short delay, they exploded to deal a hefty amount of damage to all nearby Angelica Esports team members. Echo's ultimate, Duplicate, enabled her to transform into an enemy player's hero, temporarily gaining all of their abilities and attributes. Yoshinori was forced to adapt to the situation when this was active and apply extra pressure when the game needed it. When Yoshinori wasn't on Echo, he sped into action on the highly popular Genji to close in on his targets for a quick takedown. As one of the game's most mobile heroes, Genji was able to close the gap with Swift Strike, cutting through foes for damage while relocating around a team fight. Deflect raises his survivability in the front lines. Enemy attacks were redirected back at them, which often proved fatal the larger the projectile was. While up close and personal, Yoshinori made great use of Genji's ultimate, Dragon Blade. With the swing of the katana, health bars were reduced to zero as Yoshinori cut through players. Swift strike cooldowns were frequently reduced, allowing him to continue his rampage. DAF Esports' second damage player, High Vision, offered consistent damage throughout each game as he brought Sojourn into the fray. The hero's railgun fire is the stuff of nightmares, but through her power slide ability, Sojourn was able to manoeuvre her way around and over the enemy tank to find multiple vantage points. Disruptor Shot was her area of effect ability. By launching an energy burst, several enemy players lost health almost immediately when grouped up too tight. Once Sojourn's ultimate overclock was popped, High Vision's charged shots were auto-charged and were able to pierce through targets for a short duration. High Vision mixed things up when he subbed out Sojourn for Soldier 76, an Overwatch War veteran that truly has it all. Armed with a heavy pulse rifle, High Vision peppered the enemy with bullet fire before switching to the hero's helix rockets for mass area of effect burst damage. Positioning was crucial for these forms of fire, so by using Sprint, he was able to move around map obstacles and tank shields in order to pressure the more vulnerable enemy heroes. When the going got tough, a biotic field was dropped to pulsate a heal over time to High Vision and nearby friendly teammates. The fun really began after High Vision threw on Soldier 76's tactical visor. With a speedy reload time, the hero's artillery was able to automatically find targets. This often led to a wipe if the enemy team didn't find ways to avoid the flurry of bullets. These devastating damage heroes helped DAF Esports achieve a flawless grand final result and can help you climb ranks in your next match of Overwatch 2. 
Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with the amazing esport content from around the gaming globe. Only on Unbeaten Esports.